All right, so we're, we're going to go through and talk briefly about uh, what I believe you should know in order to pass the Security Plus 601. Um, I'm your guy, Ben McGee, and I'm going to go ahead and break this down for you. So this is the 601 guide, and it's broken up into the percentages here on the second page. But let's just go through and quickly talk about some of the things that uh, will very likely be on the exam, uh, in my opinion, at least. Let's go through and just quickly talk about that. So, you know, I would know most of these that you see right on the screen. But uh, in addition to that, uh, you know, know what it means to, uh, let me select a pen here. Uh, how about a pencil? And then, so I would know what eliciting information means. And why isn't that working? Boom, there it is. Eliciting information would mean, uh, if you don't already know that, then, um, you, you probably have uh, need to do a little bit of research on that. Um, in addition to that, uh, probably something like typo squatting, how we're starting to see social media be able to influence campaigns. Um, you know, of course, all the malware that I think that that just kind of all of this right here, you absolutely got to know. And if you don't know that, uh, you shouldn't be taking the the, the exam. Uh, the rainbow tables, know what that rainbow tables are a big password hash. Um, I'd probably know what brute force means as well as a dictionary attack. You may see both of those. Um, some of these physical types of attacks, uh, I think a lot of these make sense, but you may want to refresh yourself on what skimming means. Uh, at a high level, just know that uh, artificial intelligence is coming and they throw in here the adversarial. So I guess they're thinking that Skynet is coming with the Terminator. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully uh, people like you and I can, can help protect against that. Uh, we talked about the different uh, birthday attacks in um, you know the, the review that we've done. And uh, know the difference just between the, the basics of all of these types of attacks in both a cloud environment and on premise. Okay, so keep that in mind. Let's just uh, keep on keep on going here, and um, hopefully we'll be able to give you a, a nice review. In addition to that, you also need to know privilege escalation. If you don't know what, what that means, then um, look it up. I would even uh, encourage you to, in your own lab, try to elevate your privileges somehow, some way. Uh, nefariously would be best, but whatever works for you. I mean, all of these right here, these are fair game. All the types of injections and uh, especially SQL injection and cross-site scripting. Even if you don't see those on the exam, um, you know you got to you got to know those just for to be in the business. What those do, and remember, we have the hackme.cyberprotects.com that you can go out and play at your convenience. So uh, I would definitely tell you to to do that. Let me go ahead and put this into the chat real quick, and we can kind of take a look here. So. Here's the, the different percentages uh, that you need to, to be aware of. And the website that you can go and practice all of the injection types of attacks is hackme.cyberprotects.com. Right? Hackme.cyberprotects.com. Um, if you've never been there before, you may want to check it out. Because, you know, it's a, it's a free resource that we have that we, we allow people to, to play around a little bit. You have to authenticate using open authentication in the Google account. 
So I'll sign in with my Google Google account here, and it brings you into uh, the Open Web Application Security Project. We stood up an instance here that people play around with, and then inside of each of these types of in, injections, you can see uh, bypassing, authentication, cross-site scripting. And remember, we, we went through and, and had you play and send screenshots on this in class. So just remember, if you don't remember what those are, you can check out the YouTube channel or go out to here, play around with it. Um, I would encourage you to do that. So let's keep on keep on going here. So I was saying uh, this guy, this guy, all of these, um, just know what those are. In addition to that, sometimes a replay attack, um, know what an API is, know what an API is. All the different wireless, you're going to see one of those probably. You may see this since they've changed it. The on the path is now what they're calling it instead of a man in the middle attack. So we went over the man in the middle uh, during class, if you recall, and uh, that was that was kind of fun. Uh, in addition to that, you may want to research the layer two. What's the difference between ARP and RARP? Because those are things that you probably will see on the exam. Uh, DNS, anything dealing with DNS, I would know. These are kind of straightforward, but if you don't fundamentally know what DNS is, then all of these are going to be hard for you. So first know what DNS is. A DDoS, you got to know what that is. Uh, we went over that in class. So if you're unfamiliar with these, uh, I would tell you to spend a little bit more time, make some note cards, and, and hopefully you can... Um, you know, be, be able to understand it. We have some excellent videos out there that we've recorded. You may want to just uh, check it out at your convenience. Um, anybody have any additional questions on that? I'm gonna keep on going if you don't. Uh, the different actors here, I mean, this is basic stuff that most people know. Um, you know, what, how to get to you. And, you know, this is one that you'll probably see OSINT, open source intelligence, basically Googling things. The dark web, sometimes you hear about that on TV. The, the different, uh, sharing of information by law enforcement agencies. The, it's called sticks. You may be interested in just going and reading a little bit about that. And, um, you know, some of the, the different resources, uh, yeah, I would say that's probably it for there. On this one, the zero day, you're definitely going to see that. I mean, you just need to know that if you, if you practice weak configurations, um, you're going to get compromised. You just need to know that. Know the difference between firmware, um, hardware, firmware, and software, operating systems, I mean, applications. This is all stuff that uh, uh, you need to know. And then here are the impacts. We went through this uh, in the risk assessment and risk domain, all the different Im impacts. Really, there's nothing more important than your reputation, right? Nothing more important. That's a, that's a huge, so if you get egg in your face, then, uh, you know, it's tough to recover from that. In addition, um, you know, they like words like threat hunting and vulnerability scans. We went over false positives and false negatives. Um, you know, being able to scan different things. We went, I, I took you out to the websites on the CVEs. If you're going to be doing anything with the DOD, then you, you need to know that. Uh, we talked about syslog and the uh, security information and event management system and how basically it's just log files that get pushed to a centralized location. Uh, and, you know, I'd say that absolutely 100 percent, there'll be a quest, one question on pen testing, probably a, a and then one question on the types of reconnaissance. Usually you'll see a footprint question on there. 
Uh, there's that word OSINT again. So boom, you saw it a couple times. And then the different teams, you'll see one question on the different teams because this is absolutely something that you need to know if you're gonna be in our, our business. There's red teams, blue teams, uh, white teams and purple teams. So those are all important things for the 601. So that's it for the, the first domain. Any questions?